So I've been receiving relentless messages from uh, many of my subscribers and viewers about how to get admission into medical schools or any other universities in uh, Georgia and um, it's been so overwhelming on my um, Instagram emails and all that so I've actually decided to make this video to um, break down the important steps to take in order to get admission uh, into universities in, in Georgia and also visa processing as well hi welcome back my name is Dr. Ayokunle Omoni so today I'm going to break down the process from the point of getting admission to the point of arriving at the airport in Georgia um, the first step to take is number one you have to identify the university you want to go to so how do you identify the university you have to um, know specifically what kind of course you want to do what kind of program you're interested in doing and uh, find out what which university renders these programs for example there are some universities that are better suited for students who want to study medicine where there are some that are better suited for uh, social sciences and engineering and all that i want you to bear in mind that universities in georgia have limited number of courses that are offered in english language medium so you have to put this at the back of your mind so i'm going to give you guys the list of uh, the list of courses offered in english language medium so courses offered in english language medium includes medicine dentistry nursing medical rehabilitation pharmacy business administration political science international relation computer science or it and at master's level the courses includes business administration comparative uh, private and international law medical rehabilitation and healthcare management these are the courses offered in english language medium in most georgian universities so let me talk about the steps to be taken so the first i'm going to divide the process into three stages so the first stage is admission stage so the documents required for admissions are your high school certificates your international passports and if you're a transfer student you are going to um, need your uh, transcript official transcript from your parent university or the university you're transferring from so within one week the admission should be ready so once you get the admission the next phase is the processing at the ministry of education let me briefly explain the reason why your documents are going to the ministry of education so your documents has to be um, registered at the ministry of education it has to be submitted to the ministry of education and it's so so important because they have to verify your documents to check the authenticity of the documents uh, they are going to contact um, the necessary institutions that uh, provided your documents so for example uh, they are going to contact if you're a transfer student they contact your um, the university you're transferring from to verify your transcripts and also if um, you are just a normal student they are going to verify your secondary school or high school diploma or certificate so it's so necessary and before you get to submit your document to the ministry of education you have to pay um, your tuition fee uh, usually the first semester tuition fee some universities demand for a full payment of the first semester tuition fee why some just demand uh, some amount of money uh, out of the first semester tuition fee so after the payment of the tuition fee your document will be translated notarized and submitted to the ministry of education so at the ministry of education it's going to take a period of about three weeks on average so it's usually between two to four weeks but three weeks on average but usually not more than a month so um, once the document is uh, ready the ministry of education will issue what is called the ministry order or also known as the ministry decree so this ministry decree will be forwarded to the university what's the significance of this ministry decree ministry decree means uh they've gone through your document they've verified they've 
they've checked if you're a real or a genuine student and they are basically telling the embassy that they've gone through the process of verification of your documents and they are very they are convinced that uh, you're a genuine student who has also paid uh, part of all your tuition fee so uh, it's like an order to the ministry uh, to the embassy to grant you your visa so this ministry order or ministry decree will be sent to the university and the university will issue out um, other documents that are needed for visa processing such as um, such as uh, proof of accommodation um, your admission letter um, the ministry decree also from the ministry of education all these documents will be forwarded to you uh, so these documents will be forwarded to you so you can apply for the georgian student's visa but it's not limited to that you still have to get some other documents from your own country as well so documents such as uh, uh, bank statements containing about seven thousand us dollars uh, affidavit of sponsorship if someone is sponsoring you provide an affidavit that says oh i am responsible for so 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 person i'm responsible for the tuition fee for the accommodation for the welfareism of these students throughout the uh, entire duration of study of ESOA study period in georgia police reports travel insurance medical reports um stop covid yellow fever vaccination card and so on and so forth so all these documents including the documents issued by the ministry of education which is the ministry decree and also documents from the university plus your uh, visa fee payments all these documents will be uh, submitted to the embassy of georgia for your georgian visa application the third step is the visa application you need to submit all the documents you gather from from the first step to the second step which is admission letter ministry decree all the documents i have uh, spoken about previously as well so all these documents are needed for visa application and this is for international students coming from africa so um there are only three embassies in africa we have the georgian embassy in ethiopia the georgian embassy in uh, south africa and also the georgian embassy in egypt so it all depends on um, your region across africa previously students need to travel to all these uh, embassies to to show up for their interview but because of the pandemic the um, there's an opportunity to apply for the e-visa so you don't need to travel down to all these countries to uh, uh, show up for any interview you basically just need to submit your documents and your uh, documents will be assessed through their portal and they are going to schedule an online interview for you so like i said earlier there are so many students that contacted me and asked me if i can process admission or if i can assist in the visa application 100 percent i can i've as a matter of fact i've sent over 50 students to georgia currently studying in several different universities so if you are interested uh, i can assist in getting you admission and also um, helping you guiding you through the process and applying for your visa for you so this is for people out there that are kind of confused about the whole process and they don't know how to go about uh, getting admission or the whole entire process and visa application as well so you can send me a message via the email address and also my instagram it's right across the screen now send me a message and we are going to discuss from there so thank you very much for watching please click the like button share this information or this video to your friends who may be interested subscribe and thank you very much for watching see you guys in the next one peace